against my mother-in-law's will, actually eating it and refusing to cover the entire bill. This is ridiculous and I can't believe I have to ask if I'm the asshole, but here we go. I, 27 female, have been together with my husband, Nate, for over 10 years and married for four. I don't have the best relationship with mother-in-law as she always seems to please what I eat. Everyone in my family have a fast metabolism. I'm also working with horses, so due to this, I burn a lot of calories, talking about 2.5 to 3k a day, and usually have rather large meals to get energy back and I still remain skinny. Damn girl, that's like the dream, that's my dream. I just have to look at chocolate and I gain weight, but that's amazing for you. <laughs> amazing for you. <laughs> now to the event. My in-laws invited me and Nate for dinner last Friday. I was very busy back then and haven't eaten since about 2 to 7 a.m. and also didn't have a chance to have a snack before heading to the restaurant. So, I was starving. I usually have something to eat before seeing my mother-in-law to avoid her comments. Due to this, I have ordered a large steak at the restaurant, which was meant for two people. It also came with prawns, bacon and two sides. Please note, it was not the most expensive item on the menu, as some of my in-laws had significantly pricier dishes, and we were all splitting the bill anyway. My mother-in-law started making comments how I shouldn't be ordering what I can't eat, since even her husband wouldn't be able to finish the dish, let alone someone my size. <laughs> I smiled and said I haven't eaten since early morning and I'm starving. If I don't finish the steak, I will take the leftovers home. I've easily finished the steak and was waiting for my dessert when mother-in-law flipped. She said I am attention-seeking and was putting on a show. She also said I made my father-in-law and brother-in-law feel uneasy and that a woman shouldn't eat that much. It is unhealthy and something is wrong with me. She has then demanded me and Nate cover the entire bill as she wasn't planning on such a big expenditure. I said we are absolutely not covering the entire bill since it was meant to be split equally and reminded her of the dish she ordered that were significantly more expensive compared to my steak including a starter. <laughs> As a result, I was called an asshole who has ruined a family dinner. <laughs> Nate is on my side, but most of my in-laws are making very aggressive posts on social media about it, keep sending me different articles or of what might cause excessive eating. Am I the asshole? <laughs> to that I feel like I feel like this is one of those things where everything I say is just like obviously <laughs> like what <laughs> please that is a monster law how can you be so annoying like how can you be so concerned with what someone else is eating like please ma'am just eat your own little salad 
because they don't have enough space and that she finds it a little weird. I feel like it is fair enough to refuse that. However, I think it is actually a very small ask and while I definitely get the vibe that the youngest kid was really like spoiled because of the previous loss the mom has been experienced, I've seen that before, including like pictures of your dead grandparents. 
this trip. We argued and he started giving me the silent treatment after he came home. Moreover, his family are indirectly criticizing me on Facebook about what I did. Did I overreact? Added one, he didn't even mention what type of food they ordered. Added two, the family didn't plan on having me come along, but my husband, like he said, begged them to invite me. It isn't just with me, my brother-in-law's friend girlfriend wasn't invited as well. Added three, they paid for my expenses, so I didn't want to act like I'm being needy or something. I don't want to say anything more than this. 
could have I would have been out of there. That could have been me. I would have not that's no way. I've been out of there. <laughs> that's ridiculous. I like there might have been hints before getting married that this might not be uh, the best family to marry into, so I'm sad that you didn't get out of this earlier, but sometimes you need to learn hard lessons in life. But this is not something you should be okay with, and this is not treatment we want or we expect. Okay, we expect better treatment than this, even if they pay. Nope. Top comment, not the asshole. It is offensive for your husband and his family to exclude you from it this dinner. The reason for doing so is atrocious. It's even worse for him not to inform you in advance. Yup. The demon having to know without you. That your husband doesn't understand why his behavior and his family's best behavior is completely unacceptable. Just compounds their assholeness. Other comment is you need a new husband. He should have stuck up for you. Either you go either you both go or neither. Not the asshole. I said that. <laughs> I'm always so happy if I said something someone else is saying. It's like, oh yeah, we're, we're saying the same thing. <laughs> someone said, you underacted. His family may be a bunch of assholes, but he didn't defend you when his mother said such atrocities. He actually thinks his mother is right and you don't belong yet there. Get out now fast and find yourself someone who appreciates you. Period. We are not letting anyone treat us unfairly in 2023, okay? It is a very late for New Year's goals, but I'll make this a middle of the year goal for you guys and for me and for all of us. We do not accept shitty treatment by not a single person, okay? I'll repeat, we do not respect... I forgot my line. <laughs> we do not respect shitty treatment or unfair treatment or asshole behavior in 2023. No. Take that as a daily manifestation, my friends. This one is for free on the house. <laughs> She's 
just stop. What she's doing is actively making her dislike you and to leave the woman alone. She called me a jerk and hasn't spoke much to me since. And it's, I was told to include this comment from an info comment. Info, almost never, most of the time if people join her on the porch, it's very little small talk or just join her watching the garden. She doesn't care how loud they are in the house or anything like that. She likes watching others have a good time, more of an observer than anything. She asks for quiet with my wife since she was just going on for a while. My sister was out there and told me mom tried politer ways to ask for her to be quiet and it didn't work. Also, the direct request didn't work with my wife and she kept going. <sighs> this is a hard one. I don't know. I get I get the intentions. I get wanting to be loved by the wife. But if someone asks you for quiet, you know, that's always something you should respect. Not every person is on the same level of energy and friendliness and extrovertedness as you are. So, I don't know. I feel like this is a very, very fair scenario where I get it was hard to accept. And it's hard to understand for the wife because she probably just thinks it's not that bad that it's like making up. Like, I just want her to like me. Um, maybe, you know, she's nervous meeting the mom. I don't know. But it's just one of those things that is as it is. If the mom is definitely not a meanie and it's just how she is, maybe, you know, it sounds like there might be some mental issues. But I don't want to make assumptions, you know. But it just kind of sounds like she had a hard life and kind of needs her peace and quiet. Um, one of my friend's dad was in uh, war. He's a war survivor. And he's a veteran. That's the word I'm looking for. He's a veteran. Um, the Croatian. So that's the war. I'll pull a bit closer to you. <laughs> I was living, so <laughs> he's a veteran from that war and he mainly still lives in Croatia, but we went to, to visit him and he sometimes gets very overwhelmed and then also needs his quiet time and space and things like that are just very acceptable. She doesn't have to be a veteran to have feelings like that, you know. So I get both sides. I feel like OP right this in is totally in the clear like it was perfectly good for him to talk to his wife and explain to her that it is just not about her it is about his mom and her mom his mom is just like that it that is okay she like needs her space she needs her time with people I don't know he she likes to just quietly be there and I feel like <laughs> that you're invited to dinner after the last story is kind of enough proof of love here, isn't it? <laughs> I don't know. Um, but yeah, it just, it just seems like a fair thing that he talked to her. But I can also understand the wife being chatty and, you know, trying to get love. Um, so I hope the talk worked and I hope she can see it as it really is. To be fair, like, telling her that his mom will never love her, made out that one sentence was a bit harsh. It's just like, who knows, if he, she, her, his mom can't actually love someone, she just maybe has her own way of showing it. Um, I don't know. That might, might have been a bit rude. It doesn't make him the asshole. Like, I don't think she's the asshole either, though. Maybe she's a bit overstepping a line, trying to really force the attention and overstepping boundaries with his mother, but maybe not the, the asshole, asshole, so I hope this gets resolved quite easily. I feel like this is not the biggest problem, not the biggest problem here, not the craziest thing. <laughs> Someone said, um, she's a retired old lady that just wants to sit on the porch, not make small talk with people. Honestly, your mom sounds like my life goals. Not the 
the asshole, it sucks for your wife, but let people be. Not everyone will be liked by everyone, and your wife should be old and mature enough to understand that. Um, someone said, damn, instead of saying, hey babe, don't try so hard that I warm up to you, you just went forth, abandoned all hope you enter into my family. Yeah, I mean, I don't know, maybe there's not, you know, false hope. Like, I wouldn't say that, it's just, I would just say, like, it's just the personality of my mother. She's just, um, just more quiet, more reserved, she just needs her own time. That's also, I don't, I like, okay, like, I don't know this, these people, and, I mean, I might not be able to speak for all of them, but it is also a form of love to just be present and, you know, watch over people. Like, that's fair. <laughs> That's also showing love. She is showing love by cooking for them, inviting them around. The wife is invited. She's cooking for the wife. That's how she expresses her love. Maybe that would be my interpretation of it, you know? Not everyone has to, like, it's literally one of the love languages, like acts of service. She's just not a talker. She, you know, doesn't want to hug, which is perfectly fine. It doesn't mean that she doesn't love her. You know, she maybe still appreciates her for being there, and she probably would love her a lot more <laughs> if she were to give her the space she needs, and, you know, just let her watch from the outside. So, I feel like that would be how I would interpret it. It's a bit of a nice approach, then she will never love you. So, I don't know. It's <laughs> my take on it. Anyway, overall, what was not the asshole? That's that. Let's continue. <laughs> right, guys. Um, get buckled up for the next story, because it sounds, it sounds wild, okay? It is cold. I need to enlarge it again. It was posted five months ago, and has 35.1k votes. And it is cold. Am I the asshole for telling my mother-in-law, for telling off my mother-in-law, for insisting my daughter doesn't have a real vagina. I smell drama. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> okay. My 4.5 year old daughter has a stomach bug and has been having some diarrhea. My wife needed to take our son to an appointment and needed to work from home today, so my mother-in-law came to watch after our daughter. My daughter needed to use the bathroom, and I was going to excuse myself from an online meeting, but my mother-in-law said she had it. A bit later, my daughter came up to me and asked me to wipe her. I said to her, didn't grandma help you? She knows how to wipe, but with her having diarrhea, we're helping her. She said yes, but grandma wiped wrong. She said grandma wiped in instead of out. We've taught her to wipe out instead of in. That's a big girl no-no. Big girl no-no. We don't do that. We always wipe from... From inside to the outside. What? We always wipe front to back. Okay, for all the people who don't get this. <laughs> you wipe from the inside towards your butt because you don't want to get the butt stuff <laughs> you don't want to smear you don't want to smear that in other regions okay if you never thought about that so you teach your girls you teach your girls young that you wipe from the front to the back you wipe out you don't wipe in that can give you some serious infections like <laughs> I've learned that pretty early on and actually I taught that um, my au pair baby I looked after in Australia, which is where the Australian accent is from, <laughs> if you've ever wondered. But yeah, as girls, that is something you, you, you gotta learn. You wipe front to back, because you don't want that in your JJ. Okay? Nope. <laughs> we are not getting infections. Alright? pee after sex and we wipe front to back. Somebody, like, if you've never heard about this, I'm 
sorry. I hope I, I'm not traumatizing anyone. But, um, yeah. I, I'm, I'm curious. Is that common girl on the ledge, or am I the only one? If you're a girl, let me know. Did you know this? Is that something you perform? <laughs> Is, is this a code? A code of girls we all follow? Or is this taught everywhere in the world? Or is this just some of those things not everyone knows? It's kind of interesting, this is so off topic, but I've been watching this um, Netflix psychology thing, it's called A Hundred People or something, if you want to watch it, but they basically just try to see different psychological things and they test it out on like a hundred people of different agenda, ethnicity, religion, blah blah blah, age, height, you know, everything to get like a nice um, overview of humanity basically and they kind of go through funny questions and one thing for example is that they ask people to sit down on the toilet and use the toilet how they would normally use it, you know, like pants up, clothes on, you know, but it's kind of one of those things, you know, like who actually, where do you actually know from how to use the toilet? It's kind of something your parents teach you and their parents teach you, but if you're not like being with your friends, you rarely see anyone else using the toilet because also nothing you do like videos of or something or like eating, you know, everyone knows how to eat because you watch so many people eat, but the whole using the toilet thing, it differs so much by what you were taught, you know, what country you've been growing up in. It's actually funny, so I'm just curious if what I just said is a universal thing or if it's just something I know and you guys, I don't know, wipe differently. I don't know. How do you wipe? Serious question. <laughs> Serious question, okay. Um, I'm gonna make a Google Doc and we can all vote or something. I'd love to know. I really hope I'm not- sorry if I'm traumatizing someone. Anyway! Okay. <laughs> Continuing. I excused myself from my meeting to help wipe my daughter correctly. I went to find my mother-in-law in the kitchen. I asked her. My daughter said you wiped in instead of out. She said I wiped her. You think there's a better way? I told her it's not healthy to wipe into the vagina. You need to wipe out. She said, and you have a vagina? Wait, what? <laughs> oh, 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 okay. So this is the husband writing this. I, for some reason, just thought this was the wife writing this. Okay, that makes sense. Okay. <laughs> So the husband said, he doesn't have a vagina. I said no, but I have a daughter and I won't let her get an infection by wiping poop into her vagina. That was the explanation I was going for, thank you. Thank you very much though, you said that nicer. <laughs> she said, daughter doesn't have a real vagina yet, there's no chance of infecting anything. I said, what? Of course she has a real vagina, she is a female. She said, girls don't have real vaginas until they're teenagers and that there's no chance of any infection because their vagina doesn't actually develop until they're teenager. I was dumbfounded and I got angry. Hey friends, there's still more. I hate interrupting the story yet 20,000 times, but <laughs> I don't want anyone to hear this and take this as a truth for even a single second. But that is not true. This ma'am is very wrongly informed. You have a real vagina when you're born, as a male has a real penis. What a surprise, and you can get infections, because there's a hole. There's two holes. It's mainly the pee pee hole, okay? You can get infections in there, because you do pee even when you're a little girl, okay? <laughs> Maybe, maybe the rest is debatable, but you do have a vagina as a baby, okay? This is very odd. Who taught her that? I don't know. Anyone? <laughs> Continuing. I said to her, you are a woman. You raised three daughters. I am married to one. You can't possibly be this stupid. <laughs> that's, that's hilarious. She told me I'm out of line and said if I can't appreciate her help, then she's leaving. I told her I'm perfectly, in fact, definitely more capable than her of caring for my daughter and that she's welcome to get out. 
she did leave and about 10 minutes later my wife called me and said her mom was furious with me and and said that I was terrible to her and made her leave without any reason after explaining my wife is on my side and we're the asshole for defending my daughter's real vagina Sarah's so this is still a question no that was also the overall Reddit void I don't even feel like we have to argue about this um this is ridiculous <laughs> what is going on how did her three daughters not get a very serious vagina infection I would love to know how she raised her three daughters like that. That's so funny. <laughs> Someone said, not the asshole. Your mother-in-law is profoundly stupid. Not for not knowing about how to wipe, but for not realizing that four years old girls have fully formed genitals. God knows what other pearls of wisdom she has in her brain. <laughs> Someone said, OP, could your mother-in-law be suffering from some sort of illness like dementia or something along those lines? This seems very odd. True that. I didn't even think of that. That could definitely be a potential, you know. Or, I don't know, she raised a three girls, so I feel like this would be general knowledge. You kind of know. But, you know, if you're a boy mom, you know, and never thought about this, that you have to get told ones. Um that is, you know, acceptable in my books, but thinking she doesn't have a proper vagina, that's, that's, that's something, that's really something. Um, someone else said to that comment, not really true, this seems to be a generational family, family, cultural thing. Some people refuse to believe in genitalia for care children, they seriously think that mentioning it before puberty is wrong and you will go to hell. Well, um, I was thinking that, but, fair, you know, I don't know, I don't know, there's still some things you need to know, <laughs> do not endanger your kids, but, um, what I was kind of thinking of, if that is the case, you know, okay, like, but vaginas aren't only sexual organs, um, again, Baby hole. The baby hole is not used for the, for the fun stuff you do when you're very mature. Um, but that is where you can get an infection very easily. So, um, <laughs> okay. Also, I love the husband. Like he knows to wipe front to back. What a what a gem. Um, actually, um, I want to ask my boyfriend if he knows that. I'm very intrigued. He has two sisters, so I feel like there's potential. I feel like there's potential. I need to ask. I need to ask. Give me one second. I need to know this right now. Friends, I've conducted my scientific research, and my boyfriend, my boyfriend knows. I said, I asked him if he knows how girls have to wipe, and he said front to back. It's a genius. He's a genius. Okay, um... <laughs> A good one. Anyway, yes, we wipe front to back. Be safe for the people who weren't listening or already asleep. We wipe front to back. Front to back. Alright. Not the asshole. Thank you, sir, for standing up for your daughter. We do not want infections in here. Thank you for, my, for listening to my TED talk. <laughs> Let's continue. I think I've never met life said vagina so often as in the last 10 minutes <laughs> um yeah I, I don't have anything else to say this <laughs> the angst story is called am i the asshole for not wanting to pay the extra money my mother-in-law put for a gift i didn't ask for my mother-in-law bought me a new coffee machine i don't ask why as the one i have is still working fine but whatever I accept. Before leaving, she told me I need to pay her $30. I asked why, and she said that she planned on only putting $50 in the gift, but the cheapest coffee machine she could find was around $80, so I need to put in the $30 she added for the machine. <laughs> that confused me, because if she planned on only putting a 
certain amount in the gift that I once again didn't ask for. Why not give up the coffee machine idea and buy something that actually was $50? She said she didn't care about paying more money if it made me happy. I said, well clearly you do care, otherwise you wouldn't ask me to pay the extra $30. She said it was just a matter of principle and that if I had managed, I'd pay her. <laughs> she did left. She later texted my husband that she was waiting on the $30 and would take back the coffee machine if I didn't. I told my husband to respond that she could come back and take it back because I was not going to give her the $30. Beneficial, what? 
anyway, it would be great because my boyfriend and I um, have a lot of people visiting us a lot, especially because we both live far away from our families, further away. My family is like two hours away, his family um, half the earth, <laughs> they in Australia, we in Germany, no, but um, if someone comes to visit us, they usually stay over, so we have been wanting something more cozy to sleep at, and because <laughs> this couch is so expensive, I was thinking about asking my parents if they would um, want to put some money into it. Um, to improve their further sleep quality, so whenever they sleep over here, because we usually have them sleep on an air mattress on the floor, but my mom has back problems and she doesn't love it, and especially in winter in Germany, it gets super cold from the bottom because it's just air, you know, no heat in between. Mm. So yeah, that's my little scheme of um, funding my couch, um, but in case this would have been a super nice coffee machine and something she actually would have wanted. I kind of feel like this could have been a question, they could have talked about this, that she put some money to it or something, joint gift, I don't know, but doing it like that, this is so weird, why would you have to pay for her own birthday gift, <laughs> especially if she didn't want it, like, what, she has one, it's so odd, it's like, here, I, I got you this, but I want 30 bucks, you know what it probably was, it was probably, she re-gifted it, she, that, that was a coffee machine she already had and she regifted it, but she's just like struck for money and just wants the 30 bucks. Like, she definitely didn't pay 80 bucks for that. <laughs> she just wants the money. I don't know. <laughs> definitely not the hustle. It's ridiculous. Um, I would not pay that. It's really weird to ask her to pay that. <laughs> like, so what? <laughs> um, top comments. It's <laughs> Not the asshole, your mother-in-law and husband want you to pay for a gift you didn't want and didn't need. Don't pay her and tell her why you didn't want a coffee machine, your old one is fine. And why should you pay for a gift you didn't want? Tell your husband the same. Let's say the husband is as delusional as the mother-in-law. It's ridiculous. What? <laughs> so, let me get this right. Your mother-in-law was going to spend $50 on a gift for you. Instead, spend $80 on a coffee machine you neither asked for or wanted. Mother-in-law didn't want to spend the $30 because she's decided to go over her budget. Husband likes coffee machine that was gifted to you, so you wants so he wants you to pay back mother-in-law for overspending. Now you're being called selfish for not paying back $30. Your mother-in-law decided to overspend on a gift you didn't want or ask for. Am I getting right at it right? What fucking planet are your mother-in-law and husband on? Seriously, if the money is that much of an issue and hubby wants the machine, then he needs to pay mommy back, not the asshole. not in agreement. Um, <laughs> it's so odd. I don't even know what to say. Why? Why do people feel the need to do this? It's, it's beyond me. It's beyond me. Beyond me. Okay. I'm doing one more story and we're going to be quick because I am tired. <laughs> um, I need to go to bed. It's, it's pretty late and I can't get this big. On a second. <laughs> um, all right. Are we doing this one? That's my cat. I hope she stops. <laughs> all right. Um, it was posted ten months ago and has accumulated thirty-seven point five k upvotes, and it is called "Am I the asshole for doing weird slash awkward poses whenever my mother-in-law?" accidentally walks in on me in the bathroom. <laughs> so, my mother-in-law, I'm a girl by the way, came to stay with us for a few weeks until her home is renovated for Christmas. The problem is that she's been randomly walking in on me while I am in the bathroom. Thankfully, not once has seen me naked because I started picking up on her behavior after the second time in a week. She barge in, then turns it around and says, oh sorry, and closes the door. I tried talking to my husband about it, but he kept ignoring me, then flat out said, so what if she accidentally seen you naked? She's a family. He seriously said that. No. <laughs> we have a lock and I could have used it, but I have 
past trauma from the idea of looking slash being locked in a room after my brother locked me in the bathroom when I was five. So I came up with this idea. I'd go inside the bathroom pretending to use it and wait for her to come in because honestly it's deliberate at this point. When she accidentally barges in she'd seen me in a weird awkward position. For example doing a ballet stand, standing on the toilet or standing facing the standing facing the wall with my hands up, fully closed of course. Oh, I could see how awkward and weird this would be for her because she'd stand there for a few seconds trying to figure out what I was doing. <laughs> it was hilarious at first seeing her initial confusion, but she told my husband about it, claiming she's called people practicing rituals in the bathroom. <laughs> the reason why my husband was living. <laughs> he called me childish and said that I made his mom feel terrified and weeded out by my behavior. <laughs> he said I should have acted maturely and locked the damn door instead of playing my kids. <laughs> Am I the asshole? <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 